Yeah. You know. You love. You know you love this. You you know you love this life. Don't nobody do you yeah. like me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right, with this being album number eight, and with you having so many like generic rappers and everything, does it get harder to come out here with new um, music that's hot, or in, and does it get harder to change your style? No, you know what? It actually makes it easier because you know if you got cats out here who are generic and, and, and basic it just make what I do seem better now what makes it more difficult is when you guys get used to that generic basic sound to where that's what you are accustomed to hearing and that's what you want and you hear me come with something different and it's like no that don't really that, that ain't what I wanted him to do I wanted him to do his version of this record his version of that record you know what i'm saying when i ain't on that i mean in my history like what people have always been able to count on me for is to be diversified you know what i'm saying from the beginning of my career they were doing they were, they were doing crunk music yeah. or should i now i guess at the beginning Thank of my you. career they were doing that that outcast good and more organized noise music you know what i'm saying and then from there they began to do crunk music they were doing crunk music, I gave trap music. Then they started doing the, the, the D4L, French Eye Boy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And from there, I, I put out, you don't know me. I did, I was doing something completely different, you know? And it was never any disrespect to the people who were doing that type of music. But I'm just never gonna get caught up with what the next nigga doing. Never have. I'm always gonna stand on my own too, and I'm gonna I'm I'm walk my own walk. Uh, so I think right now, that's where I'm at right now. You know, if people are used to hearing a certain type of music, and so I got to bring them over to what I'm doing. As soon as I be able to do that, man, I ain't gonna be all right. Back to normal. Appreciate you. All right. With that being said, we're gonna take these pictures with these DJs. Did you have any any last comments to? Uh, man, thank everybody. I just want to thank everybody for coming out, for being patient. I want to thank everybody for, you know what I'm saying, for respecting the process and, re and respecting the city of Detroit, man, for, for putting your, your, your recording devices up. I'm thanking you in advance. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I just want you to know, man, you know, I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated to giving the best possible uh, album that I can, man. You know, just because I know that that's what y'all count on. And I know that ain't nobody can give you what I can give you. If I felt like it was somebody else who can give you what I can give you, man, I feel comfortable, man, going to do me three, four movies right now. But right now, I know y'all, ain't nobody can give you what I can give you. So, I'm dedicated and I'm determined to go ahead and, 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 and smash this shit one time for this year. Alright? Alright. Thank you.